Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a continuation of what I got for Christmas part one. This is part two. I know it's late, but better late than never. Here it is. Um, yeah, so if you wanna see what I got for Christmas part two, <laughs> keep watching. Um, and if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you love videos like this, consider subscribing and let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let me fix this camera here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, just a disclaimer, um, in no way am I trying to brag or anything like that. I'm very grateful and appreciative for everything that I did get. And uh, just for my family and um, Eric for spending money, hard earned money and taking time out of their busy lives for buying me Christmas gifts this past 2022. Um, I loved every single thing, especially again, shout out to my fiance, Eric, because he outdid himself this year. He did so good and yeah. I will also try to link down below as many items as I can find on Line, and if I do know where they're from, I will let you know. If it's not there, I'm sorry. Just leave a comment and I'll see if I can help you out. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the first items. Okay, so first thing I have is from Eric's cousin, um, and it is a tapestry. It's actually pretty big. Um, you can kind of see like how big it is. It's a Sailor Moon tapestry, and I literally have the hold on, let me see if I can get it. I dropped something. These little containers I got off of AliExpress like two years ago. Um, yeah, so she got me the tapestry. I don't know where she got it from, but it's pretty cool. And I'm definitely gonna hang it up in my room. It's super cute. So it's literally just Usagi with the pencil on her lip. Love that. Um, and then I also got a hoodie as well from her. And it's just a black hoodie. And all my Sanrio lovers, it has my Melody and it has Karomi on the front. So cute has pockets of course it's long sleeve has a hood and it is from Ross so yeah this is a large and it's nice and fuzzy inside and I love it it's funny because I never I don't have like regular hoodies so now I do and it's exciting um and then this was actually from Eric it's this super soft it's like a blanket it's a oppa um like pullover kind of hoodie thing Oh my god it's so cozy he also got this from Ross. he got it for six dollars funny thing is a couple probably the beginning of december i saw it at ross and i was gonna get it and i think it was only like ten dollars but then i was like no i'll just wait and then i regretted it and he ended up finding it for cheaper so i think it was like meant to be for sure and i believe this is a large as well but it's so cozy oh my gosh i can't wait to put it on um and then from his cousin as well guys oh my gosh and um she got me this Karomi bag, y'all. What? It's a purse. It's like soft and kind of like plush. Let me try to zoom out a little bit here. There we go. What? When I opened up the box or the gift bag, I thought this was like a pillow. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. It's Karomi. And I don't really have Karomi things um, as much as I would like. And then I saw that there was straps. They're pretty like long little straps. It's a purse, guys. And at first I didn't know if it was licensed, but it is. Um, it has this like pretty pinkish lavender colored like satin lining. And uh, it does have the Sanrio tag in here. Um, and I, I saw this bag on like Macari and like eBay for like $50, $60. So whoever had this, cause it, I think she like thrifted it. She always finds like the coolest things um and they probably have either never worn this or used it once or twice but i'm so happy i have a plush karomi bag um so there's that and then she also got me this vintage hamtaro plush from 2002 he is so cute he's in like very good condition he's like a little dingy in the front here his eyes have yellowed a little bit which isn't a big deal i could just give him a little wipe down um but I love Hamtaro. It's very hard to find Hamtaro things. And um, I think she found this at a flea market or something like that. She actually has like a flea market booth. And um, so she's always like looking for things for her little shop and stuff. And she always finds such cool things. And she got me this Hamtaro plush and he is so cute. He's also like really good quality, like very good quality. Um, but yeah, and I think like here's says 2002. Hamtaro Ham Ham by Hasbro. Okay, moving on to some more items. It's this Valentine's Hello Kitty plush, but it's not just any kind of plush, guys. She 
she dances and she plays a melody. It says the melody is, let me call you sweetheart. By the way, this Hello Kitty with the alpaca, the pink alpaca like outfit that came out, I think like over a year ago, maybe last year or maybe two years ago. I don't remember. I think it was sold at like CVS or something. I had tried so hard to find it. <sighs> never could I would just find it on like eBay and Macari for like 80 100 dollars like so price gouged um but no this one is from 2022 it says 2022 um yeah she's so cute this little hello kitty I thought it was just a plush but no she's even more she's got her little pink bow I love her blush cheek she's holding a heart she's got like angel wings here and this is like where you replace the batteries and stuff I'm done. Um, Eric found this at Marshall's. It was like the most random thing ever. She was in the kids section where the plush are. So don't sleep on the plush section and the kids section because you can find some cool things. Um, and he said it was like $14, $15 around there, but it was meant to be. It's like those kinds of things. You can't really look for them. You just have to find them. And when you find them, you better get them. So anyway, like I said, Eric hit it out of the ballpark this year with my Christmas gifts. He got me all four Sanrio blankets from Five Below that were TikTok viral, and I didn't think he was gonna find any of them, but he did, and he got me every single style. I love blankets. I have blankets like scattered all around the house, and I use them all the time. I'm always like switching them out and stuff like that, so. And these are like, you know, they're very thin. They're not like the best quality blankets, but they're only $5, so you can't really complain. So here's the first style. It's a typical Hello Kitty. This is how it looks. It has pink stripes. It has Hello Kitty with her red outfit. And yeah, I mean, they're pretty soft. They're not the softest blankets in the world, but they're very nice still. And they're like a good size as well. Um, yeah, so if you've bought blankets from Five Below, you know like how they standard, the standard blanket looks. But yeah, if you're just a Hello Kitty fan, you'll love this one. And this one I think for sure is like my favorite out of the bunch. It's a My Melody and Karomi blanket. And it has My Melody with her whole like sleepwear outfit and Karomi with the pillow and everything. And I'm just obsessed with the pink and the purple so cute and then the hello kitty and friends version which looks like this and they're all like in the little capsules like the little gash ponds they're so cute like look at my melody i actually have like a little itty bitty my melody plush keychain like this that i got at, i think it was like hot topic or something and it was kino kunia but yeah i've got the little twin stars just the whole gang looking so adorable and then the last one is gudetama because i love gudetama and this one looks like this. It's kind of like a reddish orange color, sort of. But like, look at Gudetama wearing a bonnet. Why is he wearing a bonnet? I don't know, but it's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and his little butt says going home. So cute. But yeah, I am obsessed with these so much, but they are from Five Below. Okay, moving on to the next set of items. So Eric also got me this Antiquarian sticker book imaginarium which is like the newest book that they released there's over a thousand exquisite and enchanting stickers such a beautiful sticker book these are the other two that they have out there's also like a botanist one which i think it's from the same publisher i don't know um but yeah i have on my channel a, a flip through of these sticker books so if you want to see it it's on my channel i'll link it down below in the description but it says originally it's $26, but he said he got it from Target for like $18, but I know you can find it on Amazon. And it's just a bunch of like vintage Victorian prints. And I'm not gonna flip through this page because I'm probably gonna make a video um, specifically for this book just to do a flip through so we can just look at the beauty of each page because this, this sticker book is just in deserve, it deserves its own video because that's how beautiful it is. But it's gonna be great for my junk journal. And so I'm very happy that I have that. Um, okay, another item is this Karomi. It's a lot of Karomi stuff going on. It's this Karomi um, Pop. It's a Hot Topic exclusive drop, Expo 2022. It's a Devil Karomi. This is so sick. I love it. Um, so if you're a Funko Pop collector or you just like Sanrio, Karomi girl, guy, Hot Topic has this. I don't know if they have any more because it said it was an exclusive, but it's super cute. It was $14.90 from Hot Topic, and yeah, Eric got this for me. I haven't got like a new Funko Pop in a very, very, very long time, so I'm very excited to have her. She's so cute with her little like devil um, horns, so I love that. 
And then here's another item that was on my wish list from Five Below, and it's the Hello Kitty Happy Home Build Set. So it looks like Hello Kitty's little house. I love that the roof has like her bow. How cute is that? And then it comes with a little Hello Kitty figurine. So yeah, the Happy Home Build Set Hello Kitty figurine and a sticker sheet with instructions, 146 pieces. But yeah, that's what it looks like from Five Below. $5. Now there is, I think, two other ones in this collection. There's like an ice cream truck one and I think like a restaurant or something. I don't really remember. It's another item that I saw on TikTok and like on Instagram everywhere and he only was able to find this one. So I'm still on the hunt for the others. Hopefully I can find them. Let me know down below if you've been able to find the whole collection. But yeah, I'm so excited to build this. It's so cute. Um, okay, and then some other things from his cousin. So she also she also got me this Hello Kitty personalized planner. Um, I actually already have this. I got it from Five Below, um, which by the way, I will have a Five Below collective haul. Ton of Sanrio cute things coming out very soon on my channel. I don't know exactly when, but it's stuff that I've had I've been collecting for the past couple of months, and just so I could have enough to make a Five Below haul. So yeah, this is one of the items that I already have, but it's super cute, and this planner is not dated or anything like that, so I could use it whenever so I'm just gonna keep it because I can use it in the next year um, and then I also she also got me this Hello Kitty and Friends puzzle which is so cute and I already have this one as well by the way it does come with a poster which looks exactly like this which is so cool but this one yeah I already have the uh, another puzzle so I think I'm just gonna give this away to a friend that also likes Sanrio um, because I don't need another puzzle that's exactly the same um, but it's so cute and you can get this at five below okay so here's another stack of items. So some more Five Below finds that Eric also found me. He found me these beautiful journals, which I've been told these have been found at Hot Topic for like $14, $15, and they're $5 at Five Below. And this is literally like the vibe that the blanket has, <laughs> like the print. Um, so this is a Karomi one, and these are like plastic covers. She's super cute. I like her little zebra rug. And the cool thing about it, guys, it is a freaking bullet journal. I don't know if you can really see that. Like, the lighting in here is, like, not very good. The sun's, like, going down. This is the only time I had to film. Um, but, yeah, Karomi's in the corner right here. So cute. And then each tab has a different little Karomi on top, if you can see that. So this is great if you're, like, going to school or something. You can divide it by subject. So here's this cover. She's like blowing a cute little kiss. And then we have this one. For some reason, she's measuring her waist, which I don't get that. Why is she measuring her waist? Um, and then I'm obsessed with this little Karomi mirror. And then here's this one. She's taking like a little selfie. She's got like the cutest room ever. And then the last divider looks like this, which is pretty much like the cover. I love her little plushie. Oh my gosh, I want that. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that one. And then this is how the backside looks. And then the My Melody version. I know some people are like obsessed with My Melody. I used to like, My Melody was like my favorite, but then I kind of like switched over to Pom Pom. Um, but of course, I still love her. So here she is in all her girly gloriness with her little frill heart pillows and stuff. And these are her little tabs at the bot or at the top. So here she is with her little nightgown. She looks so cute. And then this is the paper. It's pink. She has like little My Melody balloons. <laughs> so cute. We've got this like all over print with all the little hearts and stuff. By the way, look at that little teapot set. I need it. <laughs> and then here she is in her little outfit again. She's got like her little um, like spa headband thing going on. And then the last page looks like this and she's in her room. She's about to read a little letter. And she's even got my Melody slippers and a Karomi like picture frame, so cute. And then the back looks like this with this all over print. But yeah, I'm obsessed. I do have some that I found from Five Below on my past few trips. So like I said, there will be a Five Below on my channel. Um, most of, if you're new here, most of my videos, almost all my haul videos, they're always collective hauls. So it's for multiple trips, sometimes for multiple stores. And um, I won't film a video until I have enough to make like an actual, like, you know, 20, 25 minute long video. So that's why, <laughs> unfortunately, like that planner set and that puzzle, the puzzle I've already hauled, but the planner set, the Hello Kitty one, this one right here, I already have bought. I just haven't showed it on my channel yet because I haven't done that video. But anyway, it's all good. And then I got some more journals. <laughs> 
I go through journals like you would not believe, guys. Like, I really need to show you my journal, uh, like, uh, what is it called? Like, my journal archive. <laughs> Eric got me this one. It says, take note. And I really am feeling this, like, beige. I know I, like, love pastels. But I think he said he got this from, like, Marshalls. And it was, like, 4 or $5. I like that it has, like, the little, like, tab here, which is really cute. And it's just lined. And it's very cute. And yeah, I like it. I feel like I would want to use this for like vintage journaling because it has like those neutrals. And then his cousin got me this one and it says write it down in this beautiful gold foiling. And it's this like fuchsia pink color. It's kind of like matte. I don't know where this is from, but it comes with a cute little tassel. And then the um, edging here has like this beautiful floral print, which I'm literally obsessed with. And yeah, it's just lined and there's plenty of paper in here. Let's like this it's by the James Burke collection if you're interested but I love that and then she also got me this limited to mini diary with pin set this is a little diary has a cute little cat unicorn and it has like a, an adorable little heart lock and then it comes with this pin with the cupcake and the journal has 150 sheets which limited to she must have thrifted this somewhere because limited to closed I think it was like bought out by like Justice or something like that. And I think Justice closed, but like obsessed. I used to always love all their little stationary things like when I was younger, but they were always so expensive. <laughs> like this probably would have been sold for like 15 bucks. It was like Claire's. All right, so last couple of items. So Eric got me these lotions. He actually got these for me like after Christmas. So they were 50% off. So they were a dollar from $2. And it's funny because I needed new hand creams. Um, so, cause I always have one in like my purse. I have one like just like scattered throughout the house and I'm always using them. So these are by Body and Earth. This is perfect pineapple and you get 1.7 fluid ounce. Packaging is so cute. This one is blood orange. Love the purple and orange color. Raspberry lemonade. <laughs> the stripes and the raspberries remind me of something. I think it's Sephora. It reminds me of the Sephora bags. And then I got Strawberry Splash, which you can never go wrong with strawberries. Um, and I already did open all these and I smelled them. And they all smell exactly like what they're supposed to smell like. They're very like, it's like a light scent, you know, they're nice. So I'm definitely gonna use those. Um, and also from his cousin, these were blind bags, but I already opened them. And I know you can find these at five below, but they're Sailor Moon little like chibi, like figure keychains, which by the way, this is like the moon stick and this is how you can attach it to your backpack like how cool is that but we have sailor moon with her moon stick and she looks so cute absolutely adorable and then i got mercury i thought i had this one ex like this exact one already but it's a different pose but yeah she's still very cute i like mercury i feel like i every time i get a blind bag or box with sailor moon i always get mercury she is like my least favorite sailor scout i mean i like her but like she's my least favorite one <laughs> I'm like, why do I always get mercury? Um, another thing she got me, again, I'm pretty sure this is like thrifted. Like she finds these little like odds and ends in different places, like at different thrift stores and like flea markets. And it's the best. Um, it is this Sailor Moon, uh, Sailor Moon, Hello Kitty and Tuxedo Sam little acrylic keychain collab. And it is licensed. It is Sanrio. There's like a little whale shark and all these different little like fish and stuff. It's kind of like they're standing behind or like in front of like a massive like um, fish tank or something. So cute. We never see Hello Kitty and Tuxedo Sam together. Like how cool is that? I don't know where this is from. I need to look it up, but it, yeah, it's so cute. And then Eric also got me this adorable little bitty badge with Pom Pom Perrin. And I think that's his mother, but she's so cute with her little like apron. And this was $2 from Box Lunch. Box Lunch and Hot Topic have really cute little badges like of pretty much anything you can think of like cute characters and of course like anime characters and Sanrio etc um and then also from his cousin his cousin bought us so much stuff like he, she her and her aunt bought or her mom um bought Eric so much stuff for his birthday and for Christmas and the same thing for me like they also outdid themselves this year as well um but she got me this adorable little mini my melody figure or it's a toy actually because it's from McDonald's from 2016 I don't know if you could read that because it's kind of like embossed here but yeah I don't know if she came with something else I'm pretty sure she did but yeah she's just gonna go on my shelf and she's gonna look super cute 
And then last but not least, which is my favorite thing for this part two for sure, and definitely one of my top gifts for this year. This is one thing that Eric got me. It is this Sailor Moon box lunch exclusive handbag. Guys. So it has Sailor Moon doing her pose right here in the front. It's like a cream color and it has like this kind of like a pinkish purplish color on the sides, the handles, and it even has feet on the bottom, which I love. I love when they do that with purses. So when you put them down, your bag doesn't get damaged or scratched. It looks like this on the sides. The back, we have Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon and all these little sparkles. And um, it does also come with a strap. So if I wanted to, I could use it as a like side bag. So you open it up here, it has like a little magnetic closure. There's plenty of space. So this is a strap. And the inside, guys, I don't know if you could see that. I'm pretty sure you can. What? Look at the lining. It's all of the Sailor Scouts um, transformation pins. But like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's very roomy. There's like a bunch of paper in there. I need a blanket or a backpack with that print. Something with that print because I'm living for it. But also the hardware is what really got to me as well. This beautiful gold chain that has Luna... Luna's so cute. Like, and these are like such good quality. You could feel it. It feels very nice. Luna P here. I mean, it's super shiny. You can kind of see that there. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. But yeah, so this is a tag box lunch exclusive fashion collection. And this one you can get for $69.90. I don't know if they still have it. If they do, I'll link it on the website. And it says Sailor Moon box lunch here with this hardware. But oh my gosh. I'm literally obsessed i think they also did have a backpack and i feel like a lot of people were like complaining about that one they said something about the print was not very good quality for the price um i think i just think it kind of depends on like which one you got i don't know mine like this purse i've heard some complaints like about the stitching and stuff mine is fine like there's nothing wrong with it it's beautiful um i'm so excited to pair this with outfits and wear this out but i am obsessed with it definitely one of my favorite things Okay, friends, so there we go, finally. There's part two of what I got for Christmas 2022. I am so thankful for everything I did receive. I'm so, so, so happy with everything, and I am excited to add them to my collection and to use them. So excited to use this purse finally. So I was like, okay, I need to do that video. I need to do that video. And I was gonna do it last week, but I ended up doing a Dollar Tree haul because it's been like over a month since I've done one. So I was like, I'm gonna break it up. So that's the reason why this part two is coming out a little late, but I mean, we're still in January, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, let me know down below which item is your favorite, which items you're gonna be looking for and adding to your wish list. I would love to know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you love videos like this um, and turn on your notifications. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok there in the description and give this video a like if you did enjoy it it really helps out the algorithm and like my videos and stuff so yeah and check the description as well for the links to these items some of them i might i might have to link some like more ebay macari items um i did with the last one because i really couldn't find a lot of them they were sold out in so many places especially a lot of the five below items um, but I, like I said, just go to your local stores and you may be able to find them. It just kind of depends. You kind of have to shop around sometimes, but yeah. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay kawaii, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and I will link part one or just check out part one if you haven't seen it already. And my past, what I got for Christmas videos, <laughs> it's on my channel if you want to check them out. Um, but yeah. Okay. Bye guys.